guy, this is a Chevy Impala. And the problem going on here is uh, the AC is short cycles on a hot day. Um, it's about 95 today. Uh, whenever it first started happening, first thing I did is I went into my scan tool. And I went to uh, the head of display. Alright, here we are. And, uh, so every time it would start the cycle and then the AC head pressure would go to uh, out of range. And uh, that's as far as I got with it. I didn't hook a set of gadgets up with it or anything. It still blows semi cool. It, uh, it only does it when it's real hot out. It was about 97 degrees that day. It's about 5 degrees hotter than it is today. I'm just going to go ahead and see what we get, what we get out of our center, center vent temperature. I got my RPMs up. It's about uh, you know, 1,500, 2,000. I got a thermometer here. Uh, it looks like we're at about you know, 60 degrees. Probably 56 degrees from now to the center vent. I started it up, so we'll, we'll give it a couple seconds to see if we get dropping water in there. I got some gauges hooked up, so let's go ahead and step out there and look at that. Alright, no. we got our gauges hooked up. Gauge is hooked up right. Uh, we're looking at about 35 on the low side, uh, just over 200 on the high side. Uh, the next thing we need to do is we need to look at a pressure temperature chart and see what it should be for the outside and the air temperature. That right there tells us that we're uh, rolling refrigerant. And we'll go ahead and we're going to add some. Alright, so we got some uh, refrigerant with can tap on it. We're going to hook that up to our yellow line, our manifold. Run your screw in the punch of the can. And you open it back up. Alright, now you have your can. Refrigerate in the circle line, but before we push it into the system, we're going to want to purge air out of it. Just come up here. Loosen up the fitting. Couple seconds. Wait a little bit. Get that air out of the line. And we're gonna put it in through the low side. So we're gonna open your low side valve. All right. When you paint up like this, you're putting it in this vapor. And you get zoomed in on the gauges. You can see your high side going up.
right now, uh, also whenever you're checking your, your gauges, your pressures, you're gonna bring your engine off, off of idle, about 1,500, 2,000 RPM. So you see right now we're at about 30, uh, 34, and 260 or so. Remember our highest pressure we should see, it's about 300, about 95 degrees. So we'll bring it up. You see your high side is increasing. So it hits about 300. The foot's right around there whenever you're off idle. You know, your low side's uh, you know, right above freezing, so your foil won't freeze up. And, uh, that's, that's a good charge. So we're just over 40 degrees right now, so we're blowing cold. And that's how you check your pressures. And then just at idle, the high side to drop down a little bit. It's gonna be, you know, right around 250, which was our low range on our pressure scale. Our pressure temperature chart, so we're fully charged and we shouldn't have a problem with this AC compressor kicking on and off anymore. Now, now we'll go ahead and disconnect our gauges. This guy's a gauge, this is the first thing I'm gonna do. I'm gonna run this valve all the way down. Now you go ahead and take your yellow line off. That's thing you're gonna do is we're gonna take your high side off. Our high side's off. What we're gonna do is this line both your red and your yellow line are still full of liquid refrigerant. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and open the high side valve. And then we're gonna open the blue side valve. And then you can watch the gauges and you'll see the low side's gonna suck in all the refrigerant from the high side. So just crack this valve open. You can see your low side's dropping. Gauges are equaled out. Now you go ahead and disconnect the low side. Even at idle, our temperatures, you know, 46 to 48 degrees, which is perfectly normal. Nice and cold. Um, like what you saw, go ahead and uh, like and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them below and I'll get back to you if I have the answer. Or if anybody else has anything that they'd like to add to this, go ahead and put it down there. Uh, thanks for watching.